Hi, I'm Brian, but most people know me as Mr. Dang because I teach. I've taught third and fourth graders everything. Math, reading, writing, social studies, science, and even PE. Now, I've always been a problem solver. I've created solutions in Microsoft Excel for every little thing I had to do as a teacher. Nowadays, I built the solutions in Microsoft Power Apps, and I teach others to do the same. You can think of Microsoft Power Apps as a kind of singularity. It's an app that lets you build other apps, and that's powerful. I've built apps for teachers, for managing their classrooms, creating groups, selecting a random student, providing that student feedback on formative assessment. I've also created apps for students that are informed by educational research. Here's one on spelling and phonics. You could gamify your classroom with my banking app. Students can even respond to literature in my social media app. And for the sake of my entertainment, I even created my own Solitaire app just to prove it could be done. And to top everything off, I even created an app to teach you how to build your own app. I was first interested in Microsoft Power Apps because Excel just wasn't cutting it. I would receive this scary warning about macros inside a spreadsheet, and it just wasn't friendly to share with others. Power Apps is perfect for someone like me who has very little experience in coding. I got my start by asking questions on one of the forums. After learning from others and solving problems that I came across, I was eventually able to solve problems for others, and that was very rewarding for me. Now, my favorite thing about Power Apps is that I can create apps that do what I want. And as someone who is a follower of educational research, I make sure that all of my apps use the most sound and latest educational research for learning. So I'm literally making an application as an application of my own learning as a teacher. I hope you join me in using Power Apps to create solutions of your own. And let's learn together.